Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Peace and blessings upon you all. Dear yeah, students, uh, last time we saw a lot of things like um, we saw the race condition, we saw the mutual exclusion problem, and how to fix it. Uh, you, we tried some four algorithms, and we saw that any mutual exclusion uh, solution should uh, met three conditions. One is the mutual exclusion in the first place. Okay and second is the progress condition and third one is the bounded weighting right uh, if you have not watched it, uh, the previous lecture you should watch it first because uh, we saw the four algorithms there and they are the basis for the Peterson solution basically okay and we saw the first algorithm uh, which had a problem of uh, the progress condition okay progress condition was not met and the second algorithm we saw there was a problem of uh, mutual exclusion itself and in the third we saw there was a deadlock and when we tried to remove the problem of deadlock using the if block we got into the live lock okay so now um, in these four alg algorithms they are just a beginners uh, those these algorithms actually let us to arrive at the solution given by the person now, Patterson solution is some kind of solution for two processes, okay, and it works perfectly. <coughs> uh, uh, before uh, talking this, uh, we should uh, just recap this concept that uh, for doing a critical section, a critical section is some 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 piece of code which is actually uh, using uh, by which we actually access some critical resource, right? Which is non-preemptive resource. So uh, some piece of code uh, which can't be executed uh, concurrently by two processes, which has to be do done in entirety by one process, then the second process uh, can do it, right? So we have some kind of an entry section. The entry section is simply a lock, which uh, creates a lock. And then you do the critical section, and after that you release lock. Okay. So <clears throat> this is the overall stereo of a, a critical section uh, problem solutions and then you can do the intersection or some 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 other piece of code where uh, we don't have a critical section this piece of code may be independent uh, you know, means we don't uh, need to communicate or need synchronization with other processes for this piece of code but this is done by the this process only so nothing to worry about that so we need don't need lock on that and we do this in a in an infinite while loop, while true, that's infinite while loop, and we're gonna do it forever, right? Okay. Now, uh, Peterson's algorithm. Uh, it is a two-process solution, right? It is a two-process solution. We have a two-process and one a solution for that. Okay. And uh, in four algorithms, we saw that we introduced for we in the first algorithm we have the term that we introduced the flags, and now we combine them together. That means we're gonna have a two. Uh, you know, uh, variables. One is the turn, and one is a boolean variable, which is a flag, which is which will take true or false, right? So we'll have a sort of an array. Flag is an array of size two, which can take either the false or true. And int turn is an integer, which takes, say, for example, an integer value. So turn will tell us uh, whose turn it is to enter the critical section. So turn will be important because uh, we want we want to have deadlock and we do want to have live lock as well. Okay. Now flag is an array. Uh, use it to indicate if a process is ready to enter the critical section or not. That means if I am, for example, process I is ready, uh, want to enter the uh, critical section, it has to make its flag of I. If it is uh, process zero, so flag of zero will be true. That means the intent to enter the that process I will declare its intent uh, to enter the grid section. Okay, our process two want to go into it. Process two, uh, we have a flag of two to be true. Okay. All right. This is the way uh, we work, and then let's uh, let let's see the algorithm uh, and talk about it. So this is our uh, algorithm of Peterson. Okay. Uh, so how we're gonna work? So first we gotta turn and a flag uh, variable which is a boolean and uh, initially both of the flag of p0 and p1 process p0 p1 they will be false now um, and turn will be zero that means turn 
So if process P0 comes and P1 also comes, there, there can be all kind of, you know, scenarios. But that's not a problem. We can work out it. So we say while true do, be, do begin. Firstly, process P0 begins. And then while true do begin means infinite while loop. This is a while true loop. So this will uh, run forever. Okay. And uh, up to this one and while. Now, firstly, if I have come, I will make an intent that I'm interested. I will make my flag as true. So P0 is, this is the process P0 and this is the process P1 on this side. P0 is making its flag as true. Okay. Then, uh, not only that, you do what? You, you are actually less greedy. So, because greediness has led us to the, uh, to the deadlock and even we tried to be less greedy and there was a live lock. Now uh, we have to do uh, in a different manner that we say that turn equals to one means uh, I'm giving turn to other process. Okay, so I'm giving chance to P1 literally here. <clears throat> then I'm chucking if uh, while flag is P1, that is it's not my flag is true. Even though my flag is true, I'm not worried about that. But I'm saying if at the same time because my flag is true, that's why I'm here, right? And if P1 is also true. That means P1 has also come up. So both are, both are here. P0 is also here. P1 is also here, right? So if we flag P1 is uh, true, right? And P0 is also true. So both have come. Now the turn will decide whose turn it will be. If turn is 1. Now if flag is uh, true of P1 as well as the turn is 1, then I should not do the critical section. I should wait uh, in this while loop. So I will say here, say for example, if I don't put a terminator here, I say keep testing. So you keep testing uh, until this condition becomes false, right? So when, when, when is this possible? When both of things uh, are true, is you have a P0 and P1 also come up, and you have uh, run this line of code here, that's a turn equals to 1, and now P1 is also come up, it's making it true, Okay, even though it makes turn zero here, right? Uh, if it makes here turn zero and uh, on this this point, for example, uh, so then this guy will come out of the loop. If it has come, it makes a turn zero. It will come out of this loop because this condition has become false uh, because this is the a a this is the and. So both of them should be true. Uh, flag P1 is true, no problem, but turn has become zero in this. So it will go down and do the critical section. What about this guy? Uh, this guy, we are saying while flag is P0, P0 is there, yes, that is true. And turn is zero, yes, that is also turn is zero. So that means it will wait in this while loop until this condition becomes false. So this guy will come up and do its critical section, okay? that is uh, a critical section of p0 and then it will enter the critical section what it will do it, it will release the flag so it will say it, its flag false so that this guy will come out of this while loop because moment uh, this flag of uh, i should say p0 here becomes false so this condition becomes false and come out of it and can do the critical section so in any many scenarios you come up there will be no deadlock there will be no live lock or no mutual exclusion problem it will be uh, successfully mutual excluded two processes and uh, all, all all conditions are uh, kind of met okay you just run all kind of scenarios and try to time out uh, before uh, putting the turn before here and try to see uh, whether it will work or not so in all scenarios this is going to work that's why Pearson's algorithm is a good solution for two processes okay and same thing with the P1, it uh, makes its flag true. So what it does is uh, both of these processes make their flag true, then make the turn to the other. It makes turn 1, it makes turn 0, that means giving chance to P0, he gives chance to P1. And then it, it will check when the both the flag and the turn are of P0, for example, then it's going to wait. And if this one, if both flag and turn are of P1, it is going to wait. If out of these two, someone is uh, false, then it will come out of the while loop and do the critical section okay now all of these uh, conditions are met here like mutual exclusion progress and boundary rating okay so if uh, only process p1 or p2 or i should say p1 and p2 
can I, either of them can ex, uh, access the critical section not both and uh, uh, no process and execution critical section uh, and there exists a process I mean uh, there can't be exist a process if, if for example uh, a process wishes to enter a critical section the other process should not hamper it right so for example if other process this process not come uh, at all so P0 will not have a problem to access the critical section right it sets its flag true okay it gives turn to the other guy but uh, the flag P1 is not there so it will access the critical section so P0's decision to enter the critical section is not dependent on the P1 so progress condition is met and there is also the bounded weighting so this is uh, our Peterson's algorithm next we will uh, read about the Decker's uh, algo okay uh, so see you in the next lecture